Welcome to Ergonomics Training for the DBU Landscaping Department. Ergonomics can be defined as the study of the relationship between workers, their environment, and the equipment they use. The purpose of this training is to provide useful information to employees in workplace methodology, reduce musculoskeletal injuries of workers, and enhance performance by reducing time away from work due to injury. So how can we improve the way we work through our methodology in landscaping? When thinking about our workplace methodology, there are important questions we should continually ask ourselves as we work. These include, how do we go about doing a task? How do we hold our tools? Are there ways we can position our body to reduce risk? Are we mindful of our safety as we perform? These are questions at the center of landscaping ergonomics and what we will be thinking about through this training. Our ergonomics training centers on the issue of musculoskeletal injuries, which can be defined as an injury or disorder of the muscles, tendons, ligaments, joints, nerves, blood vessels, or related soft tissue, including sprains and inflammations, that could be caused by aggravated work. Our goal is to get you, as the employee, to think about working in a manner which is better for your body. This can be accomplished with proper leverage and knowledge about how to go about a task. When completing any landscape task, it's important to remember your best work zone. This means that in whatever we are doing, we should use good posture by keeping our back as straight as possible and keep the weight close to our body's core when lifting or using hand tools. By far, the most strenuous task we perform daily is weed eating. As you know, the professional weed eaters we use are long enough to reach the ground with good posture. Look at these two examples. Notice how the man on the left is keeping his back as straight as possible. It is important to not hold your head at awkward angles and your shoulders hunched in awkward positions as the man on the right is doing. Too much bad posture will lead to neck and back strains. For taller workers this is more difficult but necessary to reduce injury. So think about good back and neck posture in all that you do. Look at this example of the proper way to hold a large pruner. The same good back posture is required while keeping the weight of the tool close to your body in your best work zone. Also keep your arms as straight as possible to reduce tension on your wrists and less stress to muscles. Keeping good posture while working will allow you to work comfortably much longer. These examples of posture are extreme but useful in remembering to keep your shoulders back and your back as straight as possible while working. Good posture is also necessary in proper lifting as well. Remember to keep your back as straight as possible and lift with your legs by bending your knees. Remember to never lift with your back completely bent over. Use good symmetry with your back and legs when lifting. The more you lift correctly it will become habit and then feel awkward doing it the wrong way. Good back posture and leg position is also important in carrying a load. Be sure to keep your legs apart enough to properly balance the weight. If a load is too heavy for you, we would rather you get help than strain unnecessarily. Many times two or more people are needed in lifting heavy objects in landscaping. The same good posture is also very important in using shovels. Remember your good work zone close to your core when shoveling. Keep your back as straight as possible. Keep the load close to your body when lifting and do not overextend with your arms too far out to lift the load. If you use improper posture when shoveling, strains can definitely occur in a short time. It's important to think about this as tasks are performed. Stretching is also a good practice before starting work in the morning, especially before strenuous weed eating for long periods and in cold weather. 
This is something we should all do more often, several times a day, to improve performance and reduce strains. To recap, in this training we have discussed musculoskeletal injuries and the importance to reduce them. The best work zone is in close proximity to a worker's core and proper posture is critical while weed eating. How to lift correctly includes a straight back and bent legs to reduce stress. The same procedure is also used in correct shoveling where the weight is held close to the core with wrists as straight as possible. Stretching was also encouraged as a great way to loosen muscles before a rigorous task, especially in cold weather. This is the end of the ergonomics training video. Remember to incorporate the methods you've seen today in your daily routine. Now go on to the other parts of this lesson module and final exam.